hi all welcome to my youtube channel the testing instinct in this video i will be discussing about data driven testing using csv and bruno cli first i am going through the details which i have listed here so if you need to run a collection using data from a csv file specify the path to the file with the hyphen hyphen csv hyphen file hyphen path option so these are the commands that we will be using during the demo so i have also added one node here so for open source users this data driven feature is only available when we use bruno cli this option is not available with the local collection owner i will be showing what i am mentioning now during the demo so i am going straight to the demo i have already opened bruno so here I have created a collection called data driven testing and I have added one request called create user using CSV file. So this is a post supported HTTP request. So this is the API. This is the payload. So you can see the value of name and job is given as some variables. This values for these variables will be provided from the csv file i have already added one csv file in this collection location i will be showing that now so this is the collection folder you can see the bruno.json file create user using csv file also there is a csv file you can see called data in this you can see three sets of data so there is Messi and he is related to football, Sachin, he is related to cricket and Djokovic, he is related to tennis. So three sets of data is mentioned here and you can notice the column headings. So name value and job value. So these are the variables which we have used in the payload. You can see, make sure you are using the same variables in the CSV file as well. Otherwise this will not work. So this column headings has to be same as that of the variable that is used in the payload. So when we use this CSV file, this comma separated value file, there will be three iterations as there are three sets of data that I will be showing during the execution of this collection. So now I am trying to run this collection using the collection runner. So if you check in this runner you can see an option to upload a csv or a json file but when you click on this one you can see this is only available for the golden edition so if you want to data driven testing in bruno for the open source so you have to depend on bruno cli so that's the only way so i am opening this collection in command line so this is the location where we have stored the csv file and the collection you can see i have added the csv file called data along with the collection i am opening the command line here so to use this particular csv file during the execution you need to use this command so brew run and you have to mention the file name along with this flag if you are storing the csv file in some other location you have to specify that full location so i am opening the terminal now i am using the command i am executing you can see iteration 1 iteration 2 and iteration 3 so this is how you can run using bruno cli and we have used the concept of data driven testing so this will not be generating any html report so to do that we have to use another command so i am again executing the file i am pasting the command after the execution a file called result.html will be generated in the collection folder so I am checking that one. You can see one HTML file got generated. I am opening it. 
so this is the report i am changing the theme to dark you can see the request details iteration 1 iteration 2 iteration 3 so total three sets of data were there that's why three iteration is there in the request tab you can see the details of each iteration you can see the request information the payload passed so i have added one assertion as well you can see that is listing here so if you check here in the asset tab there is a status code check so those result is also listed in the html report so this is how you can make use of uh, data driven testing using csv in bruno for open source users you have to use uh, bruno cla in order to do data driven testing so i believe this video was useful for everyone if you find this video interesting please consider subscribing the channel please add comments likes and share the video with your friends thanks for watching and keep learning